Well, growing up, my father was the quintessential sportsman, and he fell in love with baseball as a little boy. I think that he really wanted just to be one of the guys on the bus. I could see the, the collateral damage, if you will, from his failed career that stalled in the 60s. And to see someone become ill and lose their body, you know, their gift, I think he was crushed. When he passed away, I go down in the basement and he had this metal trunk. I pulled it out and then I bring them all upstairs. It was like a puzzle. I started piecing it together. There were some baseball cards in there, some news clippings. There were bits and pieces about the pre-flight school in the 40s. There is a picture of my dad, about 10 years old, and he was with Ted Williams and Johnny Pesky. Suddenly, here's someone who has passed away literally 24 hours ago. And there I am, I, I find his story. I stumble on what is probably the most aggressive sports for war training experiment in history. And that was the unbelievable thing to me because we assume it's all out there, we assume the story's been told, but nobody put the story together. They created this tiny naval academy for continuous training. That was when you had dozens of major league players who paused their careers, who wanted to serve in the war. Figures like Ted Williams and George Bush and Gerald Ford and Jerry Coleman and Johnny Pesky. I mean, they pretty much represented all of the major league teams, and there they were, just sitting in some college dugout in Chapel Hill during World War II. These were living legends, and when you dig deeper into the personal stories, that's where the magic happens. And this book is full of those magical stories. And my father was right in the middle of it. He was picked as one of the top bat boys, and he would travel with the team. You know, he saw Ted Williams as a 22-year-old guy. Ted really was more like a big brother. He supported him, he believed in my dad. He, he said, you know, if you work hard enough, you, you can be just like me, and that stayed with him. I never would have written this book had I not discovered my father's story. He was one of these figures who literally lived to play the game. I wish he would have known how much his story helped bring into focus a forgotten chapter in baseball's history.